I now invite Lieutenant Colonel Reverend Denston Smalling, Force Chaplain, to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. O oh Lord, our Governor, we give you thanks for this Jamaica land we love, its people and its natural beauty. Bless us in our daily lives and in our interacting that we may share as a people at peace among ourselves and be a blessing to other nations of the world. Bless our head of state, the members of the cabinet and the members of the houses of parliament that they may exercise their duties with courage, wisdom, grace, and a genuine sense of servanthood. As today your servant Antoinette takes the oath of office for her new role of Chief of Defense Staff, endow her with your presence and be daily stirred up in her. Grant that she may serve you as she leads your men and women and that she may surrender to serving those under her care and to providing for their welfare, that the men and women may be unworried and unhindered in their work of creating and sustaining justice, kindred fellowship, and peace. As she surrenders to your will and relies on your strength, May she so lead us in your way, O Lord, that we may find the grace to fearlessly contend against all evil and reject compromise in the face of oppression and injustice, that our country may be restored to a godly and goodly heritage. Help us to strongly support her, that her time in office may be a time of faithfulness to the men and women and of success in the mission. We ask this through him who came among us as one who serves, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, his Excellency the Governor General will now deliver remarks, after which Mrs. Claudine Heaven, Governor General Secretary, will read the instrument of appointment and invite Rear Admiral Weems Gorman to subscribe the oath of allegiance and the oath of office. Most Honorable Andrew Ness, Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, and the Most Honorable Mrs. Ones. Honorable Dr. Harris Chang, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Security. Mr. Mark Golding, Leader of the Opposition. Senator the Honorable Kamina Johnson-Smith, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade permanent secretaries and members of the Defense Board, Lieutenant General Rocky Mead, Chief of Defense Staff, Rear Admiral Antoinette Weems Gorman, Chief of Defense Staff, Designate, Major General Anthony Anderson, Commissioner of Police, former Chiefs of Staff of the JDF, Lieutenant Colonel Reverend Enston Smallin, Force Chaplain, Ladies and gentlemen, guests joining us on the various online platforms, greetings and a good afternoon. <clears throat> I welcome each one of you to this historic swearing-in ceremony for the appointment of Rear Admiral Antoinette Weems Gorman, the first woman to be appointed Chief of Defense Staff of the Jamaica Defense Force. 
This appointment is also another first in the English-speaking Caribbean and the Commonwealth. The Chief of Defense Staff is the highest ranking officer in the military who advises the Prime Minister on matters related to defense. One of the functions of the Chief of Defense Staff is to reform the various operations of the military and successive holders of this post have each made outstanding contributions to the modernization of the force. <coughs> Lieutenant General Rocky Meade, our outgoing CDS, has had an illustrious career in the JDF, culminating at the pinnacle to which only few have risen. It seemed like just a short time ago that he was sworn into office on 1st December 2016. Among his many achievements over the past five years is the formulation of a strategic plan to improve the JDF's efficiency and effectiveness. These initiatives will do much to strengthen the operations and capabilities of the Maritime, Air and Cyber Command, which include the Coast Guard, Air Wing and Special Forces. The Caribbean Military Academy, another groundbreaking formation operationalized under his leadership, has broadened the JDF's capacity to educate and to accredit soldiers. The Jamaica National Service Corps, which falls under the CMA, is a game changer in the way soldiers are recruited and trained. General Meade today will pass the baton to his successor and a grateful nation, General Meade, thanks you for your 38 years of dedicated service. As you move on to another phase of your life, I wish you well. Rear Admiral Weems Gordon, you are placed squarely at the helm of the defense of our country. However, you are no stranger to challenges. Your outstanding track record your history of firsts and trailblazing career to date speaks to your suitability for this post. I am confident that as you build on the foundation of your predecessors, you will continue to serve with distinction. You will be a positive role model for women and men alike as they witness what can be achieved through determination and purpose. I wish you the very best as you lead this important institution that has earned our respect and admiration over the years. As the Commander-in-Chief of the Jamaica Defense Force, I am proud of the men and women who serve. Let us support them as they work tirelessly to secure the physical integrity and territorial waters of our country. Thank you, Your Admiral. Rear Admiral Antoinette Sandra Lee Weems Gorman, Order of Distinction, Justice of the Peace. Whereas it is provided by Section 170 of the Defense Act that the Governor General shall appoint an officer, being a member of Her Majesty's forces, in whom the command of the Jamaica Defense Force shall be vested and subject to the terms of such appointment, such officer shall have the command of that force. And whereas Lieutenant General Rocky Meade, commander of the Order of Distinction, relinquishes the post of Chief of Defense Staff of the Jamaica Defense Force on the 21st January 2022. Now therefore, know ye 
that I, Patrick Linton Allen, Governor General of Jamaica, reposing full trust in your zeal, ability, and discretion, do hereby under the power vested in me by the Defense Act, appoint you, the said Rear Admiral Antoinette Sandra Lee Weems Gorman, to be in command of the Jamaica Defense Force as Chief of Defense Staff in the rank of Rear Admiral with effect from the 21st January 2022. And I also direct that having made and subscribed an oath or affirmation as required by law, that said oath being deposited with the Governor General Secretary, you do proceed forthwith to have command of the Jamaica Defense Force. And I do hereby enjoin all persons to aid and assist in the furtherance of your duties. Given under my hand and the broad seal of Jamaica at King's House, this 20th day of January in the year of our Lord, 2022, and the 70th year of the reign of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. God save the Queen. I, Antoinette Sandra Lee Weems Gorman, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Jamaica, and that I will uphold and defend the Constitution and the laws of Jamaica, and that I will conscientiously and impartially discharge my responsibilities to the people of Jamaica. So help me God. I, Antoinette Sandra Lee Weems Gorman, do swear that I will well and truly serve the people of Jamaica in the office of the Chief of Defense Staff of the Jamaica Defense Force, and I will do right to all manner of people after the laws and usages of Jamaica without fear or favor, affection or ill will. So help me God. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prime Minister, the Most Honourable Andrew Holness, will now deliver his remarks. His Excellency, the Most Honourable Sir Patrick Allen, Governor General, the Honourable Dr. Horace Chang. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Security, Mr. Mark Golding, Leader of the Opposition, Senator the Honorable Kamina Johnson-Smith, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, uh, other Ministers of Government joining us virtually, Permanent Secretaries, Rear Admiral Antoinette Wims-Gorman, Chief of Defense Staff, 
and Lieutenant Commander Retired Jonathan Wims Gorman and other members of your family who may be here or online. Lieutenant General Rocky Meade, outgoing Chief of Defense Staff. Major General Anthony Anderson, Commissioner of Police. Former Chiefs of Defense Staff, Reverend Lieutenant Colonel Denston Smalling, Force Chaplain. Representatives of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Rear Admiral Wims Gorman, it is my honor to extend congratulations on behalf of the government and people of Jamaica on your appointment as Chief of Defense Staff of the Jamaica Defense Force. I am confident that all Jamaicans join me in wishing you every success in this new appointment. Rear Admiral Wims Gorman assumes this position having spent the past 30 years of her professional life progressing through the ranks of the JDF. She is no stranger to being a pioneer, having achieved many firsts in her extensive military career. Our new CDS was selected through a very competitive process. Ultimately, myself and other members of the Defense Board concluded that Rear Admiral Wims Gorman possesses the combination of leadership skills, the experience, the commitment, and the strategic vision to lead the men and women of the JDF and to drive them to achieve even greater levels of success. I look forward to benefiting from her wise counsel on matters related to defense and security. The Rear Admiral's many years in the JDF Coast Guard has allowed her to treat significantly with issues relating to maritime security and uh, the blue economy. She will therefore bring a unique perspective to our discussions and our efforts to strengthen our borders and prevent illicit inflows, to protect the lives and livelihoods of our coastal communities, and to ensure that Jamaica can derive sustainable benefit from our maritime resources. As we continue our fight against crime and violence, the JDF will continue to play a critical role in support of the JCF. As a small country, we must continue to employ all available resources to address the number one threat to our collective future. I am confident that under Rear Admiral Wims Gorman's leadership, the JDF will continue to grow from strength to strength. It will also continue along its path of transformation and capacity development as it positions itself to more effectively and efficiently combat current and future threats impacting Jamaica and indeed the wider Caribbean region. I am confident that the JDF will also continue its efforts to change the culture of violence in Jamaica. It will continue to positively impact our youth, not only through the Jamaica National Service Corps, but also through its various community service activities and its deepening partnership with the Heart Trust NSDA and other entities. Under Rear Admiral Wims Gorman's leadership, we will build on our relationships with our military partners within the region and beyond. Over many years, the JDF has earned and maintained a stellar reputation as a trustworthy partner, one that comes to the aid of our brothers and sisters when requested. I know 
that the CDS is committed to building on these partnerships and committed to enhancing the JDF's sterling reputation both at home and abroad. One of the defining features of the JDF is the sense of continuity and indeed the smooth transitions that have happened from one commander to the next. Over the past two years, in our previous capacity as Force Executive Officer, Rear Admiral Wims Gorman worked closely with her predecessor, Lieutenant General Rocky Mead. I know that he has laid a solid foundation on which the new commander will continue to build. As we say goodbye to Lieutenant General Meade, I want to thank him for his 38 years of stellar service to the JDF and the people of Jamaica. Your commitment to education, the achievement of high standards, the maintenance of these high standards, and your commitment to the young people of this country has produced significant changes across this country. We too share your vision of a JDF that can continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with any military anywhere in the world. We will build on the foundation that you have established and strive to make the JDF even more capable and fit for purpose. We can safely say that the future of the JDF is in very capable hands, and this is due in no small measure to the way in which you have led the force over the past five years. Rear Admiral Wims Gorman, I am confident that in you, Jamaica has a strong, committed, and capable leader who will continue to lead our troops and give off your best to the country, as well as those that will come under your command. As we conclude this historic ceremony, I extend to you once again my congratulations on your appointment, and indeed the reaffirmation and commitment of the full support of the government and people of Jamaica. Ladies and gentlemen, I now invite Rear Admiral Antonette Weems Gorman to reply. Your Excellency, the Most Honorable Sir Patrick Allen, Governor General. The Most Honorable Andrew Holness, Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, and the Most Honorable Mrs. Holness, Mr. Mark Golden, Leader of the Opposition, the Honorable Dr. Horace Chang, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Security, Senator the Honorable Kamina Johnson-Smith, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Permanent Secretaries and Members of the Defense Board, Lieutenant General Rocky Meade, outgoing Chief of Defense Staff, former Chiefs of Staff and Chiefs of Defense Staff, Major General Retired Anthony Anderson, Commissioner of Police, Lieutenant Colonel Denston Smalling, Force Chaplain, other distinguished guests joining virtually, good afternoon. I am humbled and privileged to be confirmed as the next Chief of Defense Staff for the Jamaica Defense Force. I wish to thank the Governor General and the Defense Board for having confidence in my ability to command the men and women of the Force. 
I commit to upholding the oath of office that I have just taken today. In doing so, I commit to decisive, firm, and strategic leadership, which is required in today's complex and ever-changing security environment. Over the past 29 years of service to the force, I've acquired valuable tools and honed the skills required to prepare me for this job. I must recognize and thank all the former chiefs who have all played significant roles in my development. Thank you for the examples of committed and capable leadership that you demonstrated, which has laid a strong foundation for me to build on. It is a reality that the JDF will continue to play a critical role in the national security apparatus of our country. My efforts in this regard will be anchored in the five pillars of force transformation which is articulated in our strategic defense review. These are capability development, human resource management, infrastructure, and command and control. This will ensure that the force is fit for purpose and capable of effectively confronting current and future threats to Jamaica's security. Throughout my tenure, I will not compromise on the integrity of the force, nor flout the long-standing, hard-won trust of the Jamaican people. Each service member will be held accountable for his or her actions and they can be assured of my commitment to the good administration and welfare of the force. Robert K. Greenleaf, founder of the Modern Servant Leadership Movement said, the first and most important choice of leader makes is to serve, without which one's capacity to lead is severely limited. In 1992, I seized the opportunity to join the Jamaica Defense Force and serve the people of Jamaica. Today, in assuming command of the JDF, I will be called on to deliver even greater levels of service. My confidence in my ability to deliver on the expectations that comes with this appointment is rooted in the firm belief that I will be able to continue to rely on the commitment and loyalty of the men and women of the Jamaica Defense Force. I joined to serve, and my service continues. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this function. On behalf of His Excellency, the Governor General, I thank you for attending this important ceremony. To Rear Admiral Weems Gorman, we offer our heartiest congratulations. We wish you every blessing in the execution of your duties. Thank you. <laughs>